Welcome to an Edge demo on how to choose low-impact materials for a building project. We'll explore the decision-making behind selecting low-impact building materials that are right for a particular project. Let's begin by creating an office building. We'll assume the building is 16,000 square meters and 4 stories tall. Let's move to the materials section and look at the building's base case for the breakdown of the embodied energy in materials. Embodied energy represents the energy required to extract and manufacture the materials used in the construction of our building. EDGE calculates the embodied energy savings in megajoules from the building dimensions and the materials selected, displaying this calculation in the results. The default materials for our building's base case appear automatically. We can keep the default materials or choose different materials depending on the specifications of our building. The materials we select may or may not have lower embodied energy, but ultimately our building needs to save 20% embodied energy to reach the edge standard. Our base case on the color-coded chart indicates that the most embodied energy is in the floor slabs, which by default are in situ concrete. Surely, we can find a better alternative for our floor slabs by selecting a different material from the drop-down list, and we can do the same for each building element. Let's see what can be done to reduce the amount of cement through additives such as ground granulated blast furnace slag, GGBS, to the concrete used for our floor slabs and roof. GGBS is commonly available as a byproduct of the steel industry. We can see that our choice is having a positive impact on embodied energy savings. For better understanding of different building materials and their specifications, refer to the Edge user guides by clicking on the name of any building material and selecting More Info. Another choice we can make is to reduce the amount of concrete by using concrete filler slab. Filler slab is an alternate construction technology where part of the concrete at the bottom of the slab is replaced by low-cost, lightweight filler material such as brick, clay tiles, polystyrene, or lightweight concrete blocks, among others. This option provides an even greater impact on embodied energy savings. Choosing another material or building technology is not the only way to reduce embodied energy. Decreasing the amount of materials by strategically modifying the building's design can also reduce embodied energy. Let's return to the starting point to see what happens if we fine-tune our default materials. We can see the default thickness of the slab and steel by clicking on the individual elements. By decreasing the thickness of the slab and or the amount of steel used, we reduce the embodied energy. The same is true if we update our building design. If we decide to build a one-story office building instead of a four-story, we will have greater embodied energy savings. This is because the envelope of a one-story building is less and so will require less wall materials, thereby reducing our embodied energy. With EDGE, we can verify the quality of our green building designs in quantitative ways, including our building materials. We hope that this demo has been helpful to you and that you enjoy using EDGE.